step back just a little bit and go, you know, I'm alive today. I'm alive today. And think about the people, not just Kim Jong, but other people, family members, friends, other people you know of, other people you've heard of that are no longer here for whatever reason that their life was maybe cut too short, right? It's just like we can only be so lucky to be able to live a life where, where the average lifespan of a human being is 83 years old. All right, welcome to another art talk. So today I wanted to talk about the passing of a legend that we just, the whole community really heard about today. Just a great illustrator, great cartoonist, um, Jim Jung Ji, who was just a genius and is what they really called him. And it's amazing that what he could do, if you're not familiar with his work, he was had all this, these stories, these drawings all in his head and he could just go with a pen and create these elaborate scenes just with no pre-drawing, nothing. It was just, it was just unbelievable and it was so perfect and the perspective and everything about it was just genius and, and amazing that, that it came out and there was no one else in the world, honestly, that could do that. No one that has done that. He was really the first that really came to light and, and showed us. And that's what I like. It's just like a legend. These people that come and they do something and it just impacts the way things are done. It's just so unbelievable to me. And just to witness it is like the Michael Jordan. Uh, just seeing, being able to live during the time that Jim Jung Ji lived and, and did what he had to do. And and, and put it out there for the world to see. And luckily that we were able to capture it. We were able to see his work, that his work went into print, that has been filmed and recorded. And that is so vital. And I think that we so we can be so grateful and thankful that, uh, that it, that exists because there's so many legends that their artwork is gone. There You might see some of their artwork in books here and there, and maybe they're hard to come by books or magazines, and now they no longer Longer exist and just uh, again just have someone um, in our lives so so grateful um, for for that and it was so hard to hear you know only 47 years old and passed away of a heart attack healthy guy didn't smoke didn't drink was uh, real healthy, seemed real happy all the time, didn't seem like he was stressed out. Uh, and 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 just to, to witness that and then hear that, you're just like, what the hell? And just a loss of life and so sad that can you just don't know. My, my twin brother, his friend, when he was very young, passed away as best friend and it was just from a heart condition that he didn't even know about, that he didn't even know that he had. And, and just, and just to know that just, I just want, I just want, number one, I just want to say, if you have any symptoms, if you're feeling anything, if you get any heart palpitations, anything, go get it checked out, go do something I have. And, um, because I experienced that and I've had to go to the hospital for that reason. I'm just like, I got to check on this. I'm not going to mess around and you don't mess around. And, and it's so sad. And, and, and when, when I just think about, when I think about just the loss of anyone and I think about the loss of his life and how short it was and did he fulfill what he wanted to do? Was he, was he happy? Did, did, did he make the best out of things, not knowing that this yesterday would be the last day of his life and unexpected, leaving from a gallery show in Paris on his way to the airport, at the airport to go to a New York Comic Con and starts to feel chest pains and all of a sudden is in the hospital and all of a sudden is no longer here. And knowing, and I think about it and I go, wow, when he was 23 and a half years old, that was the halfway of the end of his life, yet he didn't even know it, right? And you say, it's a weird way to think, but I think like that. And I go, you know, it's just, how, it just, 
I, and I think sometimes you have to because it makes you appreciate and you want to appreciate things more. You want to get to that place where you can just say no matter what's good and what bad is coming in your life and that whatever things that aren't ideal and you're not in the place that you want to be, you're not doing everything that you want to be doing in life right now, you're not achieving those things or, or some other elements are happening, family, friends, relationships, situations going on in your life putting things into perspective and go, man, do I need to, do, do I need to let this be as bad as it needs to be? Or am I creating something bigger than it needs to be? Can I surrender? Can I sort of relax? Can I pull back a bit and just go, you know what? Thank God I'm alive. Thank God that I'm here today and that I have a tomorrow. And those problems that I think of right now that are that are creating this anxiety, this stress, whatever it may be, can I just start to step back just a little bit and go, you know, I'm alive today. I'm alive today. And think about the people, not just Kim Jong, but other people, family members, friends, other people you know of, other people you've heard of that are no longer here for whatever reason that their life was maybe cut too short, right? It's just like we can only be so lucky to be able to live a life where, where the average lifespan of a human being is 83 years old. If you can make it past 83 years old, if you make it to 90s, if you make it to 100, if you're so lucky in good health, I mean, that's that's something. But to die when you're so young and you say, and, and I feel like you should think about death and why you should think about death, not in a way that I'm thinking about death because I want to do something harmful to myself, but thinking about death that thank the universe, thank God, thank, thank, thank stardust, whatever you want to believe in, that you're here, that you can function, that you have a purpose to do something. You may not know what that is yet, but there's something there that you're going to discover that you just haven't discovered yet. And that thing is going to show its head. It's going to show itself to you. It's going to reveal itself to you at a time when you don't even Know that it should reveal itself to you or will, will reveal itself to you. I promise you, as long as you have a mindset of just, I'm just going to try and I'm going to see what happens and I'm going to make a commitment and I'm going to follow through and I'm going to show up and I'm going to just partake in whatever it is that's happening and just be present in it. And not let so many outside forces taint you, control you, just pull from you and just go, I am alive today. And that's what you just kind of want to just try to think about as much as possible and have that appreciation. And that's why you want to think about death. And that's why other people's lives matter when you see someone like Kim Jong-ji pass away. Just like, man, I didn't know him personally. Dang, I appreciated his artwork and, and what he did and just and wondered. And, and I would always tell people, I would always bring him up because I would always tell people, you don't have to be like Kim Jong-ji. You can be like you, you know, don't feel that if you're not nailing it on the first try that you're not good enough. Don't judge yourself that way and just look what he did as what a gift, what a talent. God, I want to I want to push myself further in this way. Maybe I'm not trying hard enough. Maybe I'm not even using ink. Maybe I'm not using my imagination. And maybe those can start to just reflect on you and help you and just try to move you into a better place and a direction that you hopefully want to move into. And, and again, you get there with that right mindset. That's what's going to help you get there. That's what's just going to kind of push you forward just a little bit further than where you are today. And that's it. Just have, have those hopes, have those dreams. Know that someday I, I can make it a reality. Well, is it going to be ideal? Is it going to, are you going to land that exact job? Is that going to happen in your life? Who knows? But why carry that burden when you don't even know and no one knows what's going to happen one day from now, one hour from now, 30 seconds from now, two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now? Why are you putting that burden of stress on yourself? 
Why are you letting that even kind of manifest in your world? Try not to. And I know that it might be, but try not to. Try just to get right that stuff down, put it on paper, get it out of your system. Let the paper handle all the problems. Let that be the focus of the frustration. So you can just merely pick that up and see, hmm, okay, I need to tackle that problem or I need to take care of this. We're going to have ups and downs. This is it. This is the reality. Accept that. And when you come to that terms of acceptance, the surrender to it, man, you're going to free yourself. You're going to free yourself from not putting this burden of what if, uh, what might happen. We don't know. At a gallery, on your way to a comic convention, and no longer here. Unexpected. Have no idea why. Why? It is so vital for us to just be here, be here, enjoy, partake, explore, discover, experiment, try it all, see what happens, see where it takes you, see where life takes you. Who knows? I had no idea that I was going to open up my own Silver Drawing Academy art school. I had no idea that I was going to publish my own books. I had no idea what those books would even be. I had no idea that I was going to become a recruiter. These things change and you evolve and you change. All you know is you just have this desire. Hey, I want to try this. I'm going to give it a try. I want to do caricatures. Let me try, see if I can get into a theme park. Oh, look at that. I got into the theme park. Hey, I want to try and, you know, set up a booth at Comic-Con and just sell my own stuff. Hey, let me say, do, 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 internet call people. Hey, look, well, well, I filled out an application. Wow, look, I got a booth at a convention. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Everything just happens just one step at a time, piece by piece. That's how it just all goes. So if we can just allow ourselves to just think about this and not just think about it right now as I'm sharing this information, but actually think about this every single day. That's the most important thing. Think about this every single day. Don't let a day go by where you don't think about it. You should think about it every day. Write it somewhere where you can see it every day. Write it on your bathroom mirror. Write it on front of you on your computer. Let it be a reminder every day that you're alive today, you know? Let every day just be a reminder that, you know, this isn't going to last forever. And just to make the best out of it. So just why not just try to enjoy it right now? Just try to enjoy it right now. If you got to change things in your life, you got to make those changes. You got to you got to step it up. You got to step it up. You got to make those changes. If there's something that you feel like you're just making excuses, you keep pushing off, but there's no real reason. You got to make those changes. That's how stuff happens by making those commitments. Again, explore, discover. Just make, all, we, all we're doing is just moving forward. Everything is moving and growing and expanding and you are too. So allow yourself to expand. Allow yourself to go where you haven't been and you never know what surprise you might have. I, you know, I just think of people all the time who just tell me, um, and I've heard it many times, especially lately because of Lightbox that's coming up. Uh, so hopefully you guys will make it to Lightbox uh, this year, 2022. I'm going to be there. So please uh, stop and by, say hello. I'm also going to be moderating a panel on Sunday. And I just want you just to know that people say, oh, I, I can't go. I don't, I don't know anyone. You know, I don't know people. So it's just going to be kind of like awkward or I don't want to go there alone. But that's part of it. That's part of the journey. That's part of the experimentation. You don't know who you're going to meet. You can meet your future partner, for all I know. You can meet your future best friend. You can meet someone who works in the industry that's going to help you get even further. You just don't know what to expect. And that's why you just show up. And that's where it all starts. And you make those connections and you make it happen. And you take initiative and you speak up. And you don't just stay there and sit on the sidelines. You know, there was a, a famous quote that I wrote down when I was 13 years old, put it on my bathroom mirror, and it said, life is a party to which you've been invited. Are you going to sit on the sidelines or join in the dance? So this is up to you. You got to join in the dance. You just got to show up. So when you're there, but when you join in the dance, it means speaking up. It means being prepared. It means have questions ready. Who do you want to see when you go to Lightbox Expo? Who do you want to talk to? 
Well, you got, you know, you just go through, oh, that person's going to be there, that person's going to be there. I have all these questions. Start writing those questions down. Write it on a three by five card. And I guarantee you, if you show up standing at a booth in front of someone and say, I got, I got some questions that I'd like to ask you. And you read from that card, nobody, nobody is going to judge you. Nobody is going to look at you and go, what the hell is this guy doing? Just pulling out a card reading questions. What does he think this is? Do you think this is? Come on. Don't, don't think like that. So you could do that. So be prepared. Have those questions. Have your iPad ready. Have everything ready. But anyway, I'm kind of going off on a different tangent here. Um, but I just wanted to share with you um, that and just make it a great uh, week. And I'll talk to you next week. Take care.